Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. If we talk about the futuristic military technologies that will rule the warfare of coming decades, the DEW or Directed Energy Weapon will be one among them. This technology can even be harnessed to neutralize and defend against hypersonic, ballistic and other missiles at terminal stage. DEW is nothing but the focused electromagnetic beam, for example, laser or a microwave. What makes DEW such a powerful weapon is their speed. DEW, being focused electromagnetic wave, can transmit a lethal force at a speed of light, which is about 3 lakhs kilometers per second or Mach 8 lakhs 74,030. Unlike the conventional missiles and artilleries, Dew are almost unaffected by constrained effects of gravity or atmospheric drag. They are extremely precise and accurate. The intensity and power of dew can be easily scaled up and down depending on the type of target to be engaged. They are also cheaper as there is literally no ammunition cost. However, they do consume huge amount of electricity which is a major challenge in weaponizing and miniaturizing them. The two laboratories of DRDO primarily working with DEW are CHESS or Center of High Energy Systems and Science located in Hyderabad and LASTEC Laser Science and Technology Center. There are many projects in progress related to DEW under DRDO. Some of them are Kilo Ampere Linear Injector or Kali, Project Aditya, Durga and Air Defense Dazzlers. Kali has a very interesting history behind it and possibly the first military use of DEW in the world. Regarding Kali, we will make a detailed video sometime later. Talking about laser dazzlers, BEL has already been manufacturing them and supplying to Indian Navy. The laser dazzlers is used as non-lethal method for stopping suspicious vehicles, aircrafts and UAVs from approaching the secured areas. In February 2022, the Chinese PLA Navy has been accused of using laser beams against PH Poseidon Maritime Reconnaissance Aircraft of Australia. Talking about Project Aditya, it is a 100 kW laser developed by DRDO. Unlike modern day laser which is based on solid state, Aditya is based on gas dynamic laser and it is not easily portable. It has a lot of complex plumbing too. Aditya uses 0.7 meter aperture telescope to cause damage at range of 0.8 km and 2.5 km. The beam delivery system has to simultaneously acquire and track distanced static and moving targets in real time and points and focuses the laser beam on the target. Aditya was an experimental test bit of DRDO to seed the critical technologies for future laser weapon programs. Next, uh, which is the most recent one and could be the future of direct energy weapon is Project Durga. In the financial year 2021-22, DRDO has requested for $100 million budget to produce a high power laser weapon. The classified project is dubbed as Durga 2 or directionally unrestricted ray gun array. Durga 2 is aimed to develop a 100 kW lightweight directed energy system. Once developed, it will be integrated with various land, sea and air based platforms of military. While no official timeline has been defined or outlined, it is claimed that the Indian Army will soon receive Durga 2. The Durga project may have started way back in early 2000, but it gained momentum only in 2017 when DRDO tested a 1 kW truck mounted laser weapon over a range of 250 meters in Chitra Durga. LASTEC has reportedly developed a 25 kW laser weapon that can target a ballistic missile during its terminal phase at a maximum distance of 5 km. The laser experts are now working to enhance this range to 100 km or beyond. While there are no official time frame which has been outlined, the Financial Express reported that the full prototype of Durga will be one of the most crucial projects to watch out in the year 2023. 
though the year has passed without any murmur from defense establishment scientists are reported to working hard to test the prototype of laser weapon system in the first half of this year the DRDO's anti drone system is also one of the example of application of dew which employs a laser based hard kill measure to destroy the drones and uav from a range of 1 to 2.5 kilometers the system deployed here is probably using 2 kilowatt or 10 kilowatt laser developed by DRDO. The DRDO's mobile directed energy system DELS laser beam is a combination tech which has been used for generating desired power for shooting down drones and is being modified for shooting down rockets, motors, similar in capabilities to Israel's iron beam. It features electro-optical sensor to track the targets and dual laser beam is used to neutralize the target. DELS is 10 kW proof of concept directed energy system to be used against UAV like target and establishment of critical technologies of precision, tracking, pointing and laser beam combination. During the period of January 2018 and March 2019, Tests for detection and tracking of mini drone, especially hexacopter, with battlefield surveillance radar and queuing to 10 kW DELS were carried out at ATR Chitradurga. Testing of radar interfacing with 10 kW of DES was carried out with 10 kW DES radar interfacing simulator and air defense fire control radar Atulya at BL Bengaluru. Track acquisition, tracking, and laser pointing of 10 kW anti UAV laser weapon AULW system was carried out on flying drones at chest site up to a range of 0.7 km. The next project, which is slightly different from the laser technology, is about the microwave system. DIDU has also taken up a project to develop high power microwave called HPM system of radio frequency whose power lies in the S band of electromagnetic spectrum. The HPM will be able to neutralize and fry the electronics of the drones from a distance of 5 km. During June 2018 trial, the indigenous Marx generator was tested for up to 300 kV 20 Hz and excellent performance was obtained. These generators are used to generate high power microwaves. The military application for the compact HPM system is extensive given the potential threat posed by missiles. This system can also be integrated with land-based mobile vehicles and larger transport aircrafts. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.